Okay, so I just got a couple of Form run, form 1 suppressors done. I wanted to kind of do a quick overview of the 230 cals that I did most recently because they're the ones that I took out and tested today. Just kind of want to show the design, stuff like that. In the future, I will do a full breakdown of the four that I've done currently and kind of explain all of the different internals and options and stuff like that. But these two I've been really impressed with, so I kind of want to go over them. I'll also include some video of the difference on a 223 and a 6.5. Uh, it's pretty pretty impressive. Two wildly different lengths, two wildly different hosts, and uh, I, I, I'm just really impressed with how they've done. So, this first one. With all of the adapters and everything, it's roughly a 9-inch tube plus the brake, so it's really pushing like 10 inches. Kind of a, a long can, but it's meant for bolt-action stuff. It's not really meant for anything that's going to be close quarters or something that needs to really be light and maneuverable. This is just basically for the bench guns that I have. And so, of course, I wanted max suppression. I just wanted a well-performing can overall. So, we've got the tube. Here's what the ASR adapter for the YHM adapter looks like. It's pretty basic. It's from Super Precision Concepts. It works well to adapt any ASR threaded mount. And then I have blast chamber spacer. So between this adapter and the blast chamber spacer, I mean, I've got like two and a half, 2.7 ish blast chamber size. That is a uh, stainless blast chamber spacer as well. And then as far as the internal goes, I've got the first cone is a heavy from Dino Precision, and then I have a stepped white trash tactical. And then it goes on, I've got another stack of two Dino Precisions, let me give you a better look at that. That's what those look like, they're really nice cones actually. This uh, build, I used mostly the heavies, so I, I could have shaved a little bit of weight using the lightweights, but they were out of stock at the time. And then I've got another white trash tactical stepped. And then the last two, the three cones, I've got another Dino heavy. And then I have two other skirtless light lightweight cones. And both of those are on roughly a half inch spacer. One of them's gotta be trimmed down now that everything's settled and I know the tube is going to fit and there's not going to be any issues there, I'll, I'll get the last one sorted out. I do have some progressive spacing in this can. Let me see if I can get you... Yeah, so you can see the two small spacers I have after the first cone I've got I think it's a 0.375 spacer on both of these so including the skirt and the spacer I've got about 0.875 on the first ones and then I have half an inch on all the rest of them and for how basic this setup is I, I really am impressed at how it did and you guys will see that here in a second on the uh, comparison video that I did I had three different hosts. One was a 5.56 bolt action, 22 inch barrel. Um, all of the 5.56 that I shot today was 55 grain, typical steel case stuff that was on sale right before the pandemic hit. Got kind of lucky getting that. And then the other host was a 6.5 and I was shooting 143 ELDXs. Also a 22 inch barrel on that. And then the last host was a 10.5 ballistics advantage, one and seven twist barrel shooting 55 grain as well. And you'll see in these videos that I put in after this of all of the different comparisons, how well it turned out. I know it's hard with typical video equipment and microphones to pick it up, but that's why I tried to test everything on the same day with the same microphone, just to kind of give an idea of what the difference is using the same equipment 
So it should be a relatively apples to apples comparison. It's not going to compare to a meter or data, actual meter data or anything like that, but it is what it is. It's the only equipment that I've got, and I think the video itself shows a big enough difference to justify the hype, <laughs> I should say. Let me give you guys a look at the second can that I did as well. This one, actually, let me show you real quick. I've got this is a five inch tube from Quelltech. Nice little short stubby guy, flat end cap, no break on this one. Again, this is a super basic setup. This tube uh, is ASR threaded and it has a built in 2.15 blast chamber. So I've already got 2.15 inches and then I've got another half inch spacer on top of that. So for blast chamber on this one, I've got 2.65, plenty of volume. Plan on using it mostly on the 5.56 bolt gun, so that's why I wanted to make sure it had lots of volume. And then the stack is just everything half inch skirted, and it's super basic. This is literally it. I have one Dino Precision Heavy. The second one in the stack is a White Trash Tactical Hybrid Step Cone. And the last two are Titanium uh, 50 Degrees from White Trash super super basic setup all single clipped all aligned before i took them apart here i'll have to realign them but i've just got a 3d printed alignment tool but yeah all single clipped all aligned everything ran really well i was really i didn't have high hopes for the five inch but when i went out and compared it it's obviously louder than the long suppressor that i built but considering how short it is, it really does get, especially 5.56 and 6.5, closer to hearing safe than I had imagined. I did not have high hopes for this thing, and so it completely blew my expectations out of the water. And, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. I'll probably do a more in-depth video here soon on a couple of different designs that I'm thinking of. And I've already got a 9 and 22 done that I haven't done videos on. I'll put those up soon. And I'll just, I'll just do more in-depth overall. But for now, I'll stop talking and I will get to the comparison videos.
So after seeing the comparisons, I mean, there's clearly a difference in length, but uh, both of them surpassed my expectations. That 10.5 AR is so close to hearing safe with that 5 inch that with limited use or in a home defense scenario or anything like that, I wouldn't hesitate to keep it on there for that. I do have one that's kind of in between the two sizes. I have a 7 inch tube that I'm planning for that, so it should kind of give me a happy medium between the longer tube and the shorter tube so we'll just have to see how that one is when it's done but I mean unfortunately I couldn't get any videos of the 5 inch on the 10.5 but it was very similar to the bolt gun maybe just a little bit more volume so you can kind of extrapolate some data from there I will get a, a comparison on that host again in the future between all of them as soon as the third one's done but overall I'm just super impressed um, these are my first like real nice form ones I have a couple of other kits that I did. I have a 22 and a 9, but those are so much more basic and the rounds are easier to suppress that I had to do a lot of research and digging and stuff like that before I built these, and I couldn't be any happier with how they turned out. I'm super thrilled by it. Um, on the Form 1 suppressor forums, I've got a breakdown of the longer build. I will post a breakdown of the shorter build. For anyone who's interested in seeing it, you can go there and look at it. Um, I'll do a I'll break down in the future again, I'm sure, explaining the differences between all of them, and I'll do like a layout of everything, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you got a little bit out of the comparison of them of two different Form 1 suppressor designs, and I will try to get more videos up on the subject, just I'll try to get more videos up in general. I've got to do a breakdown of some of these guns that I've modified lately and stuff. I think my last video was the 223 at a thousand yards, which that that first 556 five, bolt gun in this video was that gun, so I really need to do an update on everything that's done to that. But if you enjoy this content, I'm gonna keep trying to get some more out. So you can like, subscribe if you liked it, you know. Nothing you don't have to do what you don't want to do. But I do appreciate the support and if you got any info out of this or you've got any questions or anything, feel free to comment below. But thanks for watching, guys.